Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new series for this channel. This is going to be the Formula 1 2011 game track guide. This is going to be the track guide you need to see. I'm going to go through everything. I'm going to go through breaking points, turning points, curse deplo um, deployation. Deployation? Is that the right word? I think it's deployation. I was going to say deployment, but I don't think that would be the right word. Anyway. The first thing you want to do on Melbourne, as it is quite a high speed track, is whack if you're confident in your ability. Your quick car set up into the optimum dry, which gives you highest top speed, but it also gives you a slippery car, gives you a little bit of oversteer. But if you're comfortable with your ability, that is what you should be using. So uh, move on to the lap I managed to get, and I'll show you the breaking points and so on. So here we go, guys. This is going to be a one lap of the race that I picked out, or I'll show you the track guide, as it were. So uh, you come out of the final corner and you get on straight and my advice is for when you weren't qualifying you should save on your outlap your curse for the exit of the final corner and put it down and uh, they and flat out into the first corner so you have the most speed to start your next lap. This first corner you should be doing at uh, breaking at 120 meters and trying to stick to the inside line. I'll play it in slow mo and you'll see that uh, I managed to do that pretty well. So uh, that's not a bad first corner. I do run wide in the next section which is a shame but um... Uh, it was a pretty good first corner, and if you use and if you use these techniques, you won't be the fastest person in the world, but you'll be consistent. And uh, I'm just trying to help you guys out now. So the next corner leads into a tricky section that I believe is the hardest part of the track. You want to stay on the left and uh, break about 130 meters. It's quite a hard uh, breaking point. And uh, then you stay to the, stay to the inside. Don't go on the power too early, and allow the car to roll through the second part with a little bit of power. I'll play it again in slow mo. You'll see. And uh, I do this pretty well. And there's a third corner after this little section, which is a right-hander, which in F1 2010 you could do full throttle. But in this game, I found that I can't. And maybe there is a way of doing it, but yeah, you just spin. And so I'd try and avoid that and maybe just have come off the power and then get on the power or half throttle, you know, whatever feels com most comfortable to you. All right, coming up to a, a corner, which is a right-hander, very similar to the one uh, which is to last, the last corner I did in slow motion. And uh, this is a right-hander. You break about 110 meters. It's not quite as fast as the other one because you haven't gained as much, you aren't going as fast because it's not quite as long as straight. So you break about 110 meters. I take too much grass on this one, as you'll see, uh, which is a shame. And I probably lost a little bit of time there. But if you straighten up the car properly and get on the power as soon as you feel the car planted, that is the best way to do it. So just remember your breaking points. Don't try and go too fast. Remember, my, my main, main tip to you guys is it's better to go slow into the corner and fast out of the corner than fast into the corner and slow out of the corner. Just that is one of the most important tips you can ever you can ever hear, honestly. Okay, guys, this next corner you gotta be flat out, just uh, simple, and uh, you but you want to be really smooth on the stick because it's so vital. When I watch people play, they're really jittery with with the controls. They're left and right. They don't really know what they're doing. But if you can be smooth with the stick and then bring the car to the left of the track. You can break about 125 meters into this right-hander. It's quite important, this one. You mustn't get on the power too early, but as soon as you feel the car straighten up, get on that power because it's a long straight ahead of you. If you want to use curves in this bit of the track, that's a good decision. But um, I'd save it for a little bit later when there's a good op overtaking opportunity. Okay, while well, going through this fast chicane, you want to break about 100 meters. And then you've got to not get on the power through the first bit. You've got to wait for the car to get planted, wait for you to straighten up, and then get on the power. And... Turn quite early for the second part because taking a little bit of curb, maybe taking too much curb, is allowed. Um, they won't punish you. And you want the shortest route. There's gravel on the outside. If you turn too late, you're just going to lose time. This is the corner where you gain time on. I'll stress it time and time again. And this is the corner where the next corner, you, you, you're going to gain all the time. So uh, make sure you practice this one. Okay, guys. Now, if you are but stuck behind someone... Uh, then this is the corner you need to be looking out for. If you're in qualifying, it doesn't matter. But this is the corner. It's a simple right hand. You break about 120 meters, and um, this corner will allow you to get some overtakes. Because if you get the far chicane correct, which is hard to get correct, but if you can get the far chicane correct, then you are you are in for a good lap and uh, or a good run at least. But that you can gain a lot of time in that chicane if you really just practice that that corner, that corner, that corner. Just get it right. Get it right. You'll gain a lot of speed and, get open and use your curves, get up the inside and it's a simple right hander which is really easy to stay and there's not too much um, punishment if you do go off, there's a little bit of gravel but you don't normally spin, you just kind of go wide and, and get back on the track, you might lose a second or two so it's worth the risk, if you're going to go for an overtake, use that corner. Final th 
and the final three corners are a simple breaking with a dab break, then rolling round, a sharp breaking, and then the final corner is about half throttle, then get on the power as soon as you can and use the rest of your curves. Um, and that's the lap. It weren't amazingly fast, but if you stick to this route, you'll be consistent and you'll be able to win races online. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, put a lot of effort into this, and um, yeah, I'll see you later guys. Peace!